One of the distinctions I always make is the difference between primary and secondary self-interest. Primary self-interest is essentially where you do something self-interested as your primary motivation. Examples of this um, would be, you know, uh, as one of my jobs here at Lincoln Land, one of the things I do is I advise the uh, student newspaper. I, I'm the coordinator, advisor, faculty coordinator for it. And one of the things I'll oftentimes tell students is I'll say, you know, if you want to get a job in journalism or you want to get a job writing or you want to get a job in PR, one of the best things to do is to have experience. And so, you know, don't go out and write stuff. You know, one of the reasons you should be doing this is this is really great experience uh, for, you know, really good experience. It's going to help you get a good letter of recommendation from me. It's going to help you uh, do well. And so, you know, I would re highly recommend, you know, taking, you know, and doing this stuff. But in the end, your reason for doing it, if you do it out of that motivation, you're not doing it because you like writing or you like being part of the newspaper or doing that. Your only motivation is, is I need to go do that because it's going to help me get a clip. It's going to help me put that on my resume. If that's your motivation, then you're doing it primarily out of your own self-interest. Secondary self-interest, on the other hand, would be I enjoy working at the paper and I'm doing it for that reason but I also will be able to use it for a clip or be able to use it for good. Examples of other things, like somebody's an education major and maybe they um, are tutoring or helping tutor you know, under, uh, underprivileged children uh, because they think it'll look really good on their resume when they go to get a job. That'd be primary self-interest. If they do it because they enjoy helping them, but they're going to be happy that it's on their resume, that's secondary self-interest. The idea is primary self-interest is when you do it with the primary intention of benefiting yourself. And secondary self-interest is where you enjoy it. Maybe you get some benefit out of it. Like you enjoy seeing the kids learn. You enjoy uh, you know, doing this and other things. But your main reason for doing it is to help somebody else. Yes, you still get self-interest, you still get pleasure, but it is not your primary purpose. What I think happens with egoism is egoism takes and tries to lump these two together. And it says there's no difference between primary and secondary self-interest. Primary self-interest is the same as secondary self-interest. Well, I don't think that's true. I think primary self-interest is different from secondary self-interest. And so you know, don't justify secondary self and primary self-interest on the fact that every action is somehow self-interested. That because there is secondary self-interest, then you should only pursue primary self-interest. What the counter argument from this basically says is these are two different things and we need to we need to not justify primary self-interest being primarily selfish based on the fact that we get pleasure from acts that we don't do with the primary purpose of being selfish. And so we need to distinguish and differentiate those two.